Okay, welcome to Photoshop Tutorial 3. This is Project 4C using Photoshop. We are going to work on selecting objects. Your job this tutorial is to show me you can select objects in different ways and save them as different file types. We're also going to use PowerPoint in this demo. You're going to actually turn in a PowerPoint PDF so I can see the different file types and I'm going to walk you through this tutorial right here. First thing you're going to go to your Z drive and get the downloaded images from the website and open them up. One is Beagle Pen, Beagle Easy, and Beagle Eraser. Okay, once these three photos are open, you're going to select them in different ways. So first start with the easy picture and right click duplicate your layer then I want you to turn off the background copy so that you have the front copy to work with <clears throat> and I want you to simply select this beagle from this image with the background being white very very simple you can use the magic wand tool and most likely it would select a nice outline of the dog you simply strike the delete key and the background is deleted it's not always that simple because the backgrounds aren't always white. Once it's selected, file, save as, and I want you to save it twice. Once as a JPEG in your projects folder, as 4C. One, save, and file, save as, PNG file, as, projects, last, project 4C1, and it's going to be a dot .png, hit OK. Now you can close that, hit no, and then I want you to take the Beagle eraser, right click, duplicate layer, turn the background off. I want you to simply find your eraser tool, <coughs> go up here to the eraser, notice the different brushes. This is soft, meaning it's going to give you a glow. This is hard. If I have a hard eraser and I click, notice how it's a hard circle. If I have a soft eraser and I click, notice how there's a soft edge. So I'd like you to take the soft edge eraser, find a size that works for you, and just simply use your mouse to click and erase the background from the outside of the dog. Notice how I got too close and cut out his head. Control plus Alt and Z will let me start over. So every time you click, if I now release my mouse, notice how it does that. So release your mouse will let you start over so that if you have to undo, it doesn't go back too far. Oops. So I always try to get as far around the edge as I can first. Release my mouse, get a little smaller of a brush, and get closer to the dog. If I use Control Plus and a space bar to get my hand tool, you can really get close to the dog. You're zoomed in, and it'll look a lot better when you zoom back out. So I'm going to go around the edge, try to get close to him without cutting too much of his body off. I get rid of all this grass. Get up inside there. Without cutting too much of his body off. And I control minus, zoom out. And I've pretty successfully erase the background from the dog. Once again, file save as. I'd like you to save it as a JPEG. 
just for practice in your folder for projects as project 4c2 jpeg file and then once again file save as png file and projects project 4c2 save okay the last one I want you to practice is using the pen tool so I want you to right click duplicate the layer get the pen tool out and zoom in and you're going to make paths with this pen tool click <laughs> click click and hold makes curves using the alt key we'll move this point down so it hugs this dog click and drag as a curve click control alt c would be undo click and drag as a curve click and drag as a curve click control alt z control alt z click click as a curve click Click as a curve, Alt key, click, 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 click and drag as a curve, click, Control Alt Z. Remember, the busier the background, the more complicated it is to cut out something from the background. That's why I chose the pen tool on this because it will precisely get me around the dog without getting anything in the background. You have to know the alt key. You have to understand clicking and dragging to make curves. And you should be able to get a good trace of the dog if you carefully do it. So I'll just spend time on this practicing the pen tool in case this ever arises in a picture you want to cut out. Very, very advanced level of photoshopping. Using the pen tool to cut out an animal. When you get done, click on your paths, right click, make selection, Hit OK, and it draws the outline around your cutout. From here, turn off your background copy. You need to go up to Select Inverse to change the focus from the dog itself to the background. Strike the Delete key, and there you go. You can zoom out, Control minus, Move tool, Select, Deselect, turns the selection off. And now you've cut the dog out from the background. I'd like you to go ahead and get the crop tool. Crop the image around the dog. Right click crop. And then save it just like you did the last tutorials. Save as one as a JPEG in your projects folder. As 4C3, hit save. Okay and then file, save as, PNG file in your projects folder as 4C3 as well. Hit save. Now that you've done the three tutorials, or the three practice assignments, I would like you to go into Photoshop, just to show me you understand the difference. Let's go ahead and insert a shape draw a box around your, your slide. Blue is fine. I want you to insert all those pictures. So find where you saved them in your projects folder. You can multiple select them. One, hold down control, 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 control and hit insert and they all should go into this slide.
click outside the box, take the first picture, resize it, put it at the bottom, take a second picture, resize it, match it up with the same dog. Take the second one, resize it, put it in the center, third one, resize it, put it up top, fourth one, resize it, put it on the bottom, and the last one, resize it, and put it up top. So you should have each dog paired with itself, showing the difference between PNG files on the bottom and JPEG files at the top for presentation and web use. When you're done with that, please go to File, Save As, Adobe PDF, and in your desktops, in your folder for projects, please save this as last project for C. Hit save. And for your PDF, hit save as well. And there you go. That shows me that you're able to cut out different dogs using different styles. If I go into our folder for projects, it should look like this. This completes project four. So I would like you to right click, new, create a subfolder for last name project four, and you should be able to put all of these files, 4A, 4A, 4B, 4B, 4C, 4C, 4C1, 4C2, 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 4C3, 4C3, and drag them into that subfolder, and you will turn in this entire folder of your tutorials to me for submission and grading. Hope you enjoy the tutorials, and I think now you're better suited to manage Photoshop for the rest of this class.